do you know you found the one and who is the one and is there a one? been with them for a period of time and you still wake up and you feel like it's your birthday. Through some things that I have bought. I did online shopping and I got really good at not just like you know, buying all the things online. It doesn't look like it to you guys, but I actually had like not been shopping all that much. A few bits here and there, but like nothing too crazy. You know, I have some stuff from ASOS and I also have some other. The perks are posting a party. Leftovers, the unequivocal downside, the absolutely devastating mess I uh I need to get onto this or you will all judge me <laughs> Five minutes but it's the best I can do for now my reward for all this party food leftovers in my opinion party food always make the best leftovers or anything deep fried or wrapped in pastry for that matter I could tackle the rest of the place but I'm far too hungry for that I have priorities and that is satiating my hunger and making sure I don't appear on camera like this for too much longer and scare you all off. to the and yes I can
barely believe it myself looking like this date portion of the video and I realize I um, call these little events that we celebrate uh, dates but uh, probably not it might not be everyone's definition of a date considering we are surrounded always by our lovely three children and we actually don't leave the house but we do make the most of our time together and it so happens that this year our anniversary falls on a day that we both have off which is very rare now because i was short on time this morning i have gotten from the grave uh, the silk hair door snake contraption to just curl my hair with the residual heat of my body and a whole lot of luck basically and I found a random hot curler set that I think my mum owned in the 80s in the bathroom cupboard and we're going to see if this top roller has done anything this is without heat by the way okay well clearly hasn't done a whole lot has it my hair has been just suffering lately I've got a bit of breakage really dry ends and I just want to be looking after it a little bit better just to get it back into a healthy place that it was before it has done a little something i might be able to salvage this look by just doing a little tuck just a little tuck behind the ear and this might just be today's uh date day look quite underwhelming really and my outfit seems to match my hair quite underwhelming so to celebrate our anniversary of our first date today uh, i have opted for a very extremely old top that i think was from when i was 13 perhaps i think it could even be a hand-me-down of my mum's and these also very old bonds tracksuit pants from high school as you can see i perhaps have a bit of a problem with Hoarding, but I do save these clothes for the occasion where we are getting down and dirty because we are having a little outdoor fire today on this very dreary day. And seeing as that I don't want my nice clothes smelling of smoke, this is my outfit of choice to celebrate our date. But perhaps tonight when we have our dinner inside, I might put on something a little bit more appropriate. So being the wonderful wife that I am, I'm doing all the cooking today, but it is quite effortless Italian food. <coughs> which is now my favorite cuisine all of a sudden. Italian food, ironically, despite my heritage, used to not be my favorite cuisine because I found it quite heavy and just very carby. And I just didn't, I don't know, I just didn't get it. But now that I have refined my version of Italian, uh, I'm very happy to make this a special cuisine of choice. And I find now that every time we do celebrate a special occasion, I'm cooking Italian food, which in my opinion is the most romantic of all the cuisines. Now I'm sure all of you are quite curious as to the date that we are celebrating, the very first one, and I might do a little bit of story time as I'm prepping our lunch this afternoon. So I will take you along and I will give you the lowdown.
give you two guesses what we are making this afternoon. It's only the most romantic salad in the world, a caprese salad. And I'm just about to down about half of a bay juice. This is apparently a Korean pear juice. It's, that's all it is, but if you drink it before you consume alcohol, apparently it lessens the hangover. And I say apparently, but I have actually tested this theory and I can say it does, it does work. Not that I'm condoning or planning on uh, drinking to excess today, but I don't like that fuzzy feeling you get after you say have one or two glasses of wine. So to wake up healthy and happy tomorrow, I am just taking precautions. It's uh, quite sweet for me, so I think half the amount shall do the trick, which I found half the amount is all you need. We have a problem. Hey, you know the uh, fior de latte that we bought a few days ago? It's not good. Can you just get some... Well, can you get another one? Alright, thank you. Alright, bye babe. Bye. I think that phone call said it all. So I can't really go ahead with the most romantic salad in the world until my husband gets back with not only the wine, but the essential component to the salad being the cheese. Anyway, I have treated us to three different kinds of tomatoes for the salad because I couldn't decide on one. These are tiny toms. They're actually quite inexpensive. Tried it about a year ago. They're just a nice sweet burst of that really nice organic garden tomato taste. Almost like a micro tomato. Fantastic. Combined with some Roma tomatoes and these sweet cherry truss vine tomatoes. So we're going to be getting all the tomato today. Hopefully not tomato all over my face if this uh, all goes pear shaped. So as you could see, I have prepped our dessert already, which is the poached pear, which is very significant to our relationship. Me and my husband used to love a little poached pear back in the day together. And sorry, I'm just helping myself to a little espresso shot of Riesling. And I usually don't drink white, but I used this in the cooking the other day for the pears and I tried a little and it's quite, quite lovely. This one, Freya and Jules, is from Aldi for $8 and tastes like alcoholic apple juice. Not too alcoholic, by the way, just uh, the vibe of it is alcoholic cider, I guess. So it's quite crisp. It's a very, very subtle sweetness, which is what I like. I like very dry wines. Anyway, whilst I chop tomatoes, let's get to the story time. So me and my husband's first date consisted of him making the first move and asking me out um, on a little shopping date. Apparently uh, he had nothing to wear to a mutual party we were attending and he needed a little assistance. Now at the time, ironically, I was not much of a shopper. I know, oh shock horror. I barely bought any clothes for myself and then found myself in the situation where I thought, what am I going to wear on this date? And all I had on me was a pair of jeans, the best jeans that I owned, and a summer singlet that had a little cutout feature at the back, but it was like a geometric fluoro pattern, like one of those surfer girl singlets. I felt quite humiliated rocking up to this date looking like that, but uh, it was a last minute request, and who was I to say no to such an opportunity with someone I had a massive, massive crush on? Don't mind the background ambience, it's not roadworks, it's just my child, um, turning on his little train and deciding to not let it run so the wheels are hence uh, lapping against the floor which is just lovely background ambience but it's, it's all real life going on at the moment anyway so we didn't buy anything on said day it went very well it was very shy but it went well anyway we went to mutual event together and came separately of course and ended up talking until about 3 4 a.m in the morning together under the stars, on a couch, under the moon and stars. And it was on this day that I questioned him over his feelings because I was a little unsure. He was quite the tease and I actually honestly thought the period that we did know each other, he was just sort of joking around and all the little hints he was dropping was literally just him stirring the pot. So I didn't quite pay much attention to his advances. And I did 
questioned him for real that night about his intentions and his feelings and he said that everything that he joked about or hinted about was never a joke it was all 100% genuine and my mouth just dropped open so that night we had a good old chat and I told him that basically I didn't know what I was feeling but one thing I did know for sure that is Whenever I was around him, I was at my happiest and I couldn't go a day with not experiencing the happiness that he gave. And the rest, my loves, is history. So, that is a little celebration in remembrance of that very special date on that very special day, which has now led to three children and a whole lot of responsibility basically <laughs> only kidding there's so much more than that these are my chopped tomatoes by the way this is what i have been fiddling with while i've been chatting to you for anyone who's wondering if they found the one or how do you know you found the one and who is the one and is there a one all i can say is you just know when you know when you've been with them for a period of time and uh you still wake up and you feel like it's your birthday and that is uh, what you should be feeling if you're waking up bored or waking up thinking of other people or other things or waking up with that enthusiasm to share it with your partner then they are not the one for you my dears so i must say that he is the only person not that i've had many relationships at all there's two actually so he's a second but in contrast you definitely know when you have found the one because that enthusiasm and that passion you know say when you're first dating and all the butterflies and people say oh well that's just temporary thing you don't you don't experience that forever you go into a lull and ordinary life and I'm like oh no I still get those butterflies I still anticipate seeing my husband every day and I still cannot go a day without experiencing the happiness that he gives me and that's just my perspective I believe his is also the same but hey I'm happy Okay, tomatoes are chopped to a very aesthetic degree. I love the variation of colour. And now I'm going to pick some fresh basil that I picked up from the market. Handy hint, if you keep the roots in some water, even if they don't come as the roots, they stay fresh for quite some time, actually. Basil seems to be the only plant I can keep alive indoors, or even outdoors for that matter. Because it's so easy to look after when it just comes in a bunch like this. Now for those of you who are bored and are just here for the food or show up for the food like myself, I will commence making the salad and the dinner and I will take you along for all the prep and oh I didn't tell you what I'm making for dinner. I'm making my elbow parmesan pasta that I made for Valentine's Day. I will link that video up above. I just feel the combination of the caprese salad and the pasta for dinner and the poached pears just makes for one romantic day. In fact, I feel like mainly I will be romancing myself and that's completely fine. I happen to be the one who knows how to cook so I don't mind doing the groundwork to enjoy the fruits of my labor. So I'm going to be cutting the panna di casa and Getting to the salad when my husband does come back with the goods. So feel free to follow along for the cooking methods. It's pretty self-explanatory. And perhaps I might catch up with you before the end of this vlog. Otherwise, I hope you did enjoy. There was lots uh, going on. I do like to do combination vlogs where I don't just focus on one thing. Perhaps that's a mistake. Anyway. Thank you for stopping by guys, for those of you who do enjoy my channel. Lots more food, cooking, lifestyle, fashion to come, and of course lots of chaos to follow, and story time. Alright, I will enjoy the rest of my date day.